In this demonstration, I'll show you how to write fractional exponents into radicals and vice versa. The question reads, rewrite the following into either radical form or fractional exponents and simplify where applicable. Let's start with question one. We have eight to the power of two over three. The fraction two over three can be written as eight to the power of one over three to the power of two. And the reason why it can be rewritten this way is because a third times two is the same thing as two over three. Eight to the power of one over three actually represents the third root of eight or the cube root of eight, same thing. So this right here represents the third root of eight. Now we also have to the power of two. So you can either write it like this or you can write this two inside the radicand right beside the eight where we have the third root of eight to the power of two. Now it told us to simplify where applicable. We know eight to the power of two is 64. So let's replace eight to the power of two with 64. Can you think of a number? When you multiply it in itself three times, you get 64. I know two times two times two is eight, so that can't work. Three times three times three, that's 27. I know four times four is 16, times four is 64. Therefore, the answer to this is simply four. Let's move on to question two. In question two, we have 25 to the power of half. 25 to the power of half. Now, this half means the second root of 25, or in other words, the square root of 25. So another way to write this in radical form is the square root of 25, and we know the answer to this is either plus or minus five. You're probably wondering why I didn't write the index right here as I did with the three. If you do not write an index, it is assumed that you're square rooting, that you have an exponent of half. Let's move on to question three. This time, this expression is a radical, so we assume they want us to write it as a fraction. We have the third root of a, and this can be written as a to the power of one over three. Now, if you're confused, you can always refer back to this rule. Moving on to question four, we have the third root of y to the power of two. The third root of y to the power of two. We know that the third root of simply y is y to the power of one over three. And we established that with example three and example one. But we also have this two. You can rewrite this two right after the y where you have y to the power of two to the power of one over three and use the power of a power rule for the laws of exponents to evaluate that. Or you can write that two outside. And it's the same thing, it really doesn't matter where you write that two because two times a third is two over three. Same as if it were placed here. And we end up with y to the power of two over three. In our fifth example, we have the fourth root of 81 to the power of three. So we have the fourth root of 81 to the power of three. We're going to use the same logic as we did in question four. The fourth root means 81 to the power of one over four. And we have this to the power of three in the radicand that can be written either outside or it can be written right here. Whichever method you choose, it doesn't matter because three to the power of a quarter will end up giving you 81 to the power of three over four. And so there you have it. Five examples on how to write fractional exponents into radicals and vice versa.